Hello friends, it is my pleasure to Hello friends, it is my pleasure to welcome you to my channel Laser Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yakub. I'm reaching you live from Lagos State, Nigeria. So if you are watching my video for the first time on YouTube, please remember to subscribe to this channel for more interesting video like this in Adobe Photoshop or Corel Draw and Illustrator. So now in today's class, I'm going to teach you how you can blend your image or how you can blend your picture with the background using Adobe Photoshop without wasting further any time. So let's get to the practical class started. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to come to the home tab here, come to file, then I'm clicking on uh, place embedded. All right, so I need to look for the picture I'm going to use. So I'm going to use my personal picture for this particular practical class. Okay. So I'm going to make use of this image right here. So you can see the image. Okay, this is JPEG format. So I need to make use of uh, PNG file. So you need to take note of that. The picture you want to blend the background must be in PNG file format. So you can see here we have this format is PNG format so i'm going to select this then i'm clicking on place all right so i can just resize it press shift key and alternative key on my keyboard to resize Right, so I have to come to the home tab right here and click on this check mark to confirm the transform. Now, we can see the background here is a plain white and uh, we have a single image there. So the next thing I'm going to do is to come to the layer panel here. So I'm going to come down below here and make a new layer. Sorry, just a single layer. So now having make a new layer, I have to come to the home uh, tools bar here. I'm going to select my rectangle to right. Now I'm going to draw. So I'm, I will come to the home tab here. I will change the color of the shape. So I'm changing from white to let me see. Let me see red. Okay. I'm changing the color to red. Now I will draw the background now. So I'll draw from the top straight down like this. All right, so we have the background to be red. Now, we need to blend the picture into the background, just like you can see the edge of this image here is not, uh, is not perfectly blend with the background. So that is exactly what I'm going to show you next. So what we're going to do now is to come to the picture layer from the layer panel here. So we're going to make a new layer at the top. Next, we have to come to the tools bar here Go to right click on the gradient and select gradient 2. So having select gradient 2, you have to come to the home tab here and work on your click on your gradient slider. So having click on gradient slider, it's going to move you down here. Right? So now what I'm going to select here, I'm going to select uh foreground uh transparent format. So when I like, having select this, then I have to come here. And then double click on the color slider so now i will select this red color then i'll click on ok now i'll double click on here also and i'm selecting this color and i click on ok and ok now we can apply the transparent format into the picture right away So now the next thing I'm going to do now is to let me zoom the camera. Now what you are going to do is to press that shift key on your keyboard and drag to the top until you are satisfied with the blending and release. Good. So control Z still not satisfied with the result. So I can take it to the top more. 
and drag then release Ctrl Z not satisfied with the result shift key and uh, drag let's see the last last result okay now with that i think i'm satisfied with this uh, simple blend now you can notice that at the edge of this image here we still have some some area that we need to touch so it, to do something to do this type of uh, uh this side what you have to do is to come to the layer panel again create a new layer so when you create a new layer now we make use of brush so you have to come to the tools bar here and uh, look for brush i'm going to select this brush then when you select your brush you have to come to the home tab here and uh, select the type of brush i think i'm satisfied with this then i will increase the brush size to uh, 100% then the hardness zero now I will apply the brush at this point here but before you apply it to your brush you have to come to the foreground color double click on it and change the color to this red because this foreground color is what is going to appear on the on the blend so now we just apply the brush into the image to Z we just need it to apply it gently. All right, so I'm satisfied with this uh, result. So this is how you blend your image with background in Adobe Photoshop. I hope you guys learn one or two things, in, two things in this practical video. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a big thumbs up. And also remember to put a comment in the comment section down below when you have, uh, if you have any question. I hope. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.